You know, at OpenAI, our mission is to bring the benefits of AGI to all humanity. When you think about the AI products that we have today, they're already very useful, but they can require quite a lot of thought and effort to use correctly. So we started thinking about what would it look like if instead of just working with an agent in chat, the agent actually could work with you. We started imagining this idea of like a software engineering teammate, and Codex is our first steps along that journey. Codex is OpenAI's coding agent. I think of Codex as a software engineer that works with you everywhere that you work. So we built the Slack integration. Slack is where I work with all my team all the time. And our goal is to turn Codex into a teammate. And so the most natural place for it, we don't have to build a new interface here. There's already one. It's called Slack. Now, when you use Codex in Slack, you don't have to switch out of a tool. So you don't have to switch out of that context. You don't have to summarize or gather state if there's already conversation. Using Codex in Slack is the closest there is right now to working with Codex like a human teammate. Slack has been like one of the best platforms that was easy as a developer to work with. The process of how do you get started was very easy. The three main parts I liked about it is, one is documentation. It's very well written. It was actually very easy for Codex itself to read the documentation and implement a feature. And then Slack provides something called developer sandbox so that you are not testing in production. You can create a sandbox on the side, you can test with it, and let your codex actually write code for you in the Slack bot, and it's actually building itself if you think of it. And the third part was there's this thing called block kit. You can just like drag and drop things and see, this is how my message should exactly look like, and I can just do that and take the markdown snippet that it generates, put it in my code, and then now I have that feature readily available. If you can put Codex inside Slack, it can figure out what it needs as a context. And that can be like extremely helpful because most of the discussions are already in Slack. So we don't want to have an extra ticket management system where we are relying on a human to capture the right threads. Codex and Slack has been like super helpful to just be very easy to use and get started. So I'll ask Codex, can you take care of this? And now Codex actually gets all the context from the thread and it knows the information and the environment that it should use. And it's going to start a Codex task. We're all excited about what you can do with Codex right now and what you can do with Codex and Slack. But an idea that we've been jamming on is how can we enable that future where you have a teammate that is proactive or that is ambient. A future that we'd love to build is one where things are just happening in Slack. 